Jilsey. So I know we've all had our fair share of bad relationships, whether it be you're not compatible with that person or you hooked yourself a stalker. People don't tend to realize that getting into the relationship is actually the easy part. It's getting out of the relationship that takes a little more finesse. It may be difficult to do, but it is doable. And today I'm going to teach you three great techniques to getting out of a creepy relationship. I'm going to teach you all how to avoid someone properly, lie to someone effectively, and be honest. This is my lovely assistant. She's going to be helping me. I'm going to show you how to break up using her. Now to avoid someone. Usually when you're avoiding someone, it's not somebody you're in an actual relationship. It's just somebody, you maybe you went to a party and you gave them their number and you really didn't mean to and now they're texting you and calling you non-stop and you want them to leave you alone. Now there's some easy tricks to getting rid of them without really hurting their feelings. Now this is a cell phone. When they call you nonstop, I'm going to teach you something. Do not press the ignore button, or otherwise known as the hater button. That is bad. Then they know that you're on. They, that they know that you have seen them call you. Do yourself a favor. Answer the phone. Put on your best automated voice and say, "The caller you're trying to reach is unavailable." And hang up. Now, if they MySpace you or Facebook you or anything like that, just do yourself a favor and say, "I'm sorry." I had to stop paying for my phone because I can't afford it, and then block them. <laughs> Simple as that, but it is effective. Now to lie to somebody. I know you're all probably thinking lying is awful and what not pure of heart and whatever, but I'm going to tell you, if you don't think of it as lying, it's not lying. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> um, now when you lie, just remember it to be extreme but believable, so they leave you alone. Can you please come up here? I'm going to teach you all the best lie that I've ever heard in my entire life. It truly works. Make sure you use a very stern and sad face while you do this. Call your partner over and say, it's very urgent, I need to speak to you. Okay, so you just knocked on my door, and now I'm going to talk to you. Look, some stuff just happened up the road at the bank, and... I can't talk about it right now very much, but I need to get out of the country. I'm going to hop the border to Canada, and I'm going to be there. I need you to do me a favor and delete my number out of your phone. <laughs> Pretend like you do not know me. It's for my safety. You're protecting me. Thank you. This is so hard for me. Okay, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that, but it's effective. And people always ask me, well, what if you run into that person at the store or something like that? Just say to yourself, you're not that person. You're their twin. Come look to me and say, oh, Chelsea, you're back in town. Oh, Chelsea, you're back in town. Oh, you know where Chelsea's at? I'm her twin sister, Sarah. <laughs> and run away. Easy. In there, gone. Out of your hair forever. Okay. And now this is my personal favorite thing to do. Honesty. You need to be blunt with that person, but sympathetic so they don't go crazy. Now this is a great sympathy face. And you need to do that while you're being honest with them. Um, a couple of lines that I've heard throughout the years. Uh, my favorite one, um, it's not me, it's you. That always works. You could always say to that person, um, we've had some good times. Okay, no, I take that back. You've had some good times, but it's over. That's a good one. And the simple breakup is really popular right now. It's really, really in with the cool kids. Is to just say, it's over. It works and they'll be gone out of your hair forever. But um, if it gets a little extreme, and sometimes breakups do get a little extreme, um, you need to have your person, your boyfriend or girlfriend, the weirdo, come to you, and you need to be honest with them, stern, give them the sympathy face, remember. But you need to be very stern, and so I'm gonna break up with you using honesty. Look, if you don't leave me alone, seriously, I'm gonna press charges. Simple. <laughs> Simple. And it works. And um, another good one is, uh, I think it's illegal for you to try to kill my cat to stuff to give to me for our one week anniversary. That's never cool. That's not okay. Simple, again, and it's over. And um, just make sure that if that person does go psychopath on you, move to Delaware. They will never find you there. And that's not so simple, but you know, sometimes we get a real, real, real weird one. Now I'm really, really 
hoping that none of you all will ever have to actually use any of these techniques because you really did actually hook yourself a real stalker. It's really awful, I'm telling you. It's no fun. So just make sure you're always careful with who you decide to date. But I really do hope that if you guys do end up with a creeper, that you your new knowledge of how to avoid someone and lie to someone and be honest with someone um, will all help you get out of that really creepy relationship.